Hello everybody, it is Amanda from Crafty Fit and today I am back with another process video for our off the board. I do want to warn you guys, I am filming this at 10 o'clock at night. I have my ring light so you guys will hear fireworks. One just went off um, because it is the month of July so fireworks seem to go off every single night. Um, and anyways, you guys will hear that. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be working with. Um, you guys will see my pinspiration for off the board, what I'm, what I'm looking at using for, uh, using this kit. So, or the layout I want to create using this kit. Now this is from Oh Happy Day, Simple Stories. I just have a few pieces of paper and the sticker sheet. So I went ahead and I added a few embellishments myself to this one. Um, so I of course can use this sticker sheet whenever, but the reason why I picked this sticker sheet is because the vibes are what theme I'm going for. So I have a couple of layouts that I want to do that involve troll theme. Um, trolls the movie, we went to a troll's birthday party and my mom is like wearing these trolls glasses. So you guys will see, I'll show the kits really quick, but that is what inspired me to pair this because I have this sticker sheet, but then I also have these three stickers and this is like a pack of stickers. So, um, I want to use some of these on some of these pages and I thought they went really well with this color scheme and just everything. So the first page kit, I have just like a whole bunch of random pieces. I went ahead and I cut the, um, papers down to size. So, um, this is basically one of the kits, which I might take apart. Um, but this is basically one. So I have three sheets of the paper, a half sheet of this yellow and some black and polka dots. And I have these two photos of Mistella and my mom, and she's wearing trolls theme glasses. So that's one page kit, but I think what I might do is I might take one of these out and use, use it in the other one. And this one right here has a few, um, it has like a little birthday kit too, um, because it is birthday themed and it is for trolls. So I really wanted to document that using some pieces from an old collection that I cut up. And I have this pink that I think looks really, really good with this. So this won't be one that I'm working on today. The one that I'm going to be working on today is Oh, and I have this sheet right here. This is like a white um, shimmer sheet. This is the one that I'm going to be working on today. So we have this really pretty pink and yellow and blue flowered and then we have this really pretty blue and so I also paired it with this pink so I'll be using this side and there's the llamas on one side so I'll be using that and then I have this yellow and then I have this green that I think goes really well this is from my stash so or my um oh gosh what is that called all the cut aparts and so these are pictures of Miss Stella and she is, we went to an outdoor movie and of course it was trolls. So I want to document these and I think this is the layout that I'm going to choose to do today. So I will be back and I will show you guys a little bit of, of a process. Hello everyone, I'm back and I have made a little bit of process. I'm going to start gluing everything down. So I, went ahead and I matted my photos on some of that blue polka dots and the black um, from one of the other um, 
page page kits that I have in this collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and mat my white cardstock. I have a feeling my uh, ATG is going to run out of ink, so I have that right next to me. So I went ahead and I gutted the flower print, and I'm using one of these that I do not really care about. Um, I'm going to cover it up. I've been really, really enjoying um, doing this lately just because it uses up my stuff and I don't feel bad about it. So yeah, I'm hoping that my glue gun makes it through, but I don't think it is. Oh, no. As soon as I say that, look what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay so I am no I shouldn't be cutting these with this but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do I am going to let's just put a little bit of this glue around let's use some of my liquid glue and put that around there and we will line this up on my little mat there. And then I'm going to actually stand up and try to put this on. Because lately I feel like I've been putting all a little crooked. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's still a little crooked. Oh, well. Um, I feel like this side is like not... And if you guys hear, there's fireworks. I do apologize. Okay, we're going to try this again. Because I do not want it to be... <sighs> My dog is downstairs going crazy. I'm sure a lot of dogs are feeling that way. So, okay. Let me try this again. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's hope we can get this down and right. Mm, this is not not going the way that I want it to go, guys. All right. Um, there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be back. I'm going to try to fiddle with this and see about fixing it the way it should be. So I will be back. Hopefully, we will have this on right. All right, guys, I am back. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll do. I feel like my paper is really, really warped. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to roll with it. So I'm going to lay down my pieces um, that I cut into little strips. And I'm just going to kind of line them up. And I am using this word epic, so I do want that to be on the top part of this layout because that is going to be part of my um, title. So I'm just kind of doing that. And let's go ahead and start gluing down. I'm going to... I should have changed my glue. So it is just not a night for me. It's one of those nights where nothing seems to be going the way that you want it to go. And yeah. Let me go ahead and put this on and I will be right back. All right, guys. Third time's a charm. <laughs> um, now I have some glue on my, or in my glue gun, or my ATG gun, 
feel like I've been having a hard time with this ATG gun. Like, it has just been giving me such a hard time. And, yeah. The glue is, like, clunking up and all that jazz. So, we're just going to really quickly put all these layers down. It is super fast, though, to have one of those with you while you scrapbook because it's just nice when you have big pieces like this even little pieces I feel like it's it works good so and now we got our thing all cattywonkus I feel like I use that word a lot cattywonkus all right last one I do like those llamas. I just wish I could use those llamas, but I cannot. Not on this page. Um, let's see. Maybe like that. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Now I have my photos. I am just going to put them kind of up a little bit. And you guys can tell Something that I think works good when you're working with photos like this is that you want to have kind of the same thing going. Like this picture is just of Mistella. This picture is just of Mistella. This is Mistella and me and Brandon. This is her and Brandon. So it kind of evens out when you have it like that. So I'm going to keep that there. I know I am going to be using this sticker sheet and the layout has kind of like something on top right here. I am going to be using this little guy right here. Don't know if I'm going to put it all the way across. I'm thinking I might. No, you know what? I'm just going to do it across here. Let's see if that, oh, that's like almost perfect. Almost, almost. Uh oh, there was more fireworks. Um, so I have a little piece of that left. Then what I plan on doing is adding this epic. So it does have like a string right here. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do epic. And then I have this. I'm using these Amy Tangerine stickers. These are from Steam. Uh, 2011. I've had these in my stash for a while. So that's a good thing that I'm using these up. So I have those, and then I have these right here that I have yet to even open. Um, these are called Emma, and I think that they go really well with this, and it kind of brings out a little bit of glitter. So I am going to use this to spell out movie. And I'm gonna go get some wax paper. I feel like I go through wax paper like crazy now that I am scrapbooking a lot more. Um, which is a good thing because, you know, I'm not like I'm actually like planning my layouts a little bit better. Um, oh, V, oh, where's the V? V, I, E. I don't even know when I got these. I want to say it looks like from Tuesday morning from 2014, which is a while. All right, so 
we have that moot that e looks so weird but that's okay all right so epic movie I kind of want that like on top of the line right there and then I have this in the blue I have night I'm just going to cut around it I know it's not going to be perfect but it should work Now I might do it like this. Epic movie night. Oh, I can't. I like that. Okay. So we have epic movie night. And then I have these little tabs that I want to use on each one, which I will put down when I get ready. So then now I kind of want to put something on this layout that has a little bit of the theme that we are going for. So we have the um, rainbow, we're gonna have all of these on there on each like little tab and I'm gonna do the opposite. And then we have some stickers that I think I wanna try to get on. And I do like this one that says, put your hair in the air. This one right here, I think that's really cute because she does kind of have her hair like up in the air. And let me see, these might be ones that I have to open. Uh, let's go ahead and open them on the side. <clears throat> All right, so I was thinking Maybe if I could try to cut that one out and use that one. Let's see. I've been use I've been really cutting out my stickers lately. Um, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. All right. So we have this we could add right there. Put your hair in the air, just like that. Okay, then we can, of course, add some flowers and stuff like that. I'm just trying to play around with what I have. I really, really kind of want to use this piece right here. I'm going to put one up here, one down here. I could do this one right here. Let's see what this looks like if we add this right here. I don't know if that's going to look right. not gonna look good. We'll maybe add and this one does have put your hair in the air as well but maybe we can add her down here and then add him up here and have something up here kind of um, let's see, what can we do? I think this blue like goes pretty well with some of the light blue, so I definitely want to use him. Um, it's cupcake time. Let's see, is there anything over here? Could use hair, hair terrific. I 
know, that might work. Like have a cluster here, have a cluster here, and maybe add some, maybe add something cute to it. Maybe like a heart. They don't have a whole lot on the sheet. They have flowers. So we might just have to do the heart. I do like this camera too. This camera is cute. Okay. I can totally add the camera like up here, kind of. Okay. So I think we got everything that we're going to do. So I am going to start putting some things down. I will be back to kind of finish off the layout and you guys will see the end piece. All right. I am done guys. I feel like this layout took me a while and gave me definitely a run for my money because yeah, it did. <laughs> um, you guys saw that, that it gave me a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you guys what I have left over um so and also what I kind of did uh, I did add a few extra pieces to this layout um I added these little hearts that I thought were really cute and so I have them in all the different corners um so one right here, one, two right here, and then these two. Um, I also added the date down here, and that's really it. So I'm going to do my journaling probably on this block. Um, just kind of talking about what we did, or maybe like a little verb right here. So love how this one turned out, and super excited to have that one done. Um, of course I have my stickers that I use, so these will go back into my stash, my sticker stash, or my thicker stash. Um, I have this, and I'm just kind of moving everything out of the way. Um, I have some wax paper. <laughs> And I'm just going to sit that right there. I do have a few like little pieces of this paper and I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to keep all of this. Um, I might keep that, keep that, but as far as these go, I probably will just not use those. So I will recycle that paper. Um, and Let's see, I can put my paper back in with my other papers. So um, I have a lot of other papers to use and I have two more layouts to complete, but I will not do them um, right now. I will probably wait and do them another day because I think I'm kind of done working with this uh, kit. And this is what I love about this is because I can just sit here and have fun and play with certain kits and put them back and not have to worry about them. So um, I'm just putting everything back. So we ended up not using those stickers. We ended up using a few stickers out of here. So we still have that guy and put your hair in the air again. And we still have a few more left in this one. And this one, we still have a few more left too. So it'll be fun to use those on another layout. So guys, that is it for this uh, process video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, anything down below. I will certainly um, get back to you when I can and don't forget to subscribe. And also, um, before I forget, I will leave everybody's links down below. I know I didn't say that in, in any of the other videos, um, but I um, wanted to, you know, make sure that I say something so I can put them all in there. So they go check out everybody else's for today. Um, some people may be doing them every day. Some people maybe not. So 
just go get some inspiration and use those pins. So I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in my next layout. Bye.